All right, so in the previous video, we managed to add PSQL to the path. So now we can simply type PSQL and there we go. So just let me quit out of this. And basically, if you type PSQL, you should go into this mode right here where you see that, you know, using PSQL, the version is 11. And if you need help, you can type help. So help. And there we go. So you see that we get some help. Now, basically, every single command right here starts with a backslash. So if I want to quit out of this mode, I can simply type backslash and then Q. And then, as you can see, I'm no longer in the actual PSQL mode. So let me go ahead and simply type PSQL again. And if I clear out of that, and then if I simply type backslash and then question mark, you'll see that I get more help. And basically, there is a bunch of things that we're going to cover in this course. So let me go ahead and press Q. And if I press help again, if I press backslash and then L and then press enter, you see that this command simply lists all of the databases that we have in our computer. So right here, you see that I've got four databases, Amigos code, Postgres, template zero, and then template one. So by default, these are generated for us but we can create our own database. To do so, we need to use a command that creates a fresh database that we can then create all the tables inside of this database. And to do so, we need to use the command create and then database. And then we have to give it a name. So this database must have a name. So the name can be anything you want but what comes before it, meaning create database, must be exactly, exactly like that. So you can either use lowercase or uppercase. So you can say create and then database. I personally prefer the database way because that way I know what is SQL syntax and what is not. So I'm going to use uppercase. So create and then database. And then the name of this database will be test and then make sure to end that with a semicolon because otherwise it won't execute the command. So I'm going to press enter and you see that we have this response back, which says create database. Now to view the list of all databases, simply press backslash and then L enter. And right here, you can see that this is the database that we've just created. So this is all. So this is all you need to create a database in Postgres.